Hey guys, it's Destin here in Overcast Center, Conway, New Hampshire. We are checking out the 2025 Keystone Cougar 25 FKD. So they took their front kitchen layout, they shrunk it down to about a 30 foot shell, still packed a whole bunch of stuff into it, and even gave you a bigger bathroom than before. So let's get going. Power tongue jack, oversized propane tanks, and then a true battery disconnect right behind there with their quote unquote giggy box. True to all Cougars is going to be our molded fiberglass front cap, automotive grade window in the front, and our marker lights, they actually run amber instead of like the whites or blues in the event you forget them when you're running down the road. So a little different in the front kitchens is going to be your pass-through storage. It's not really a pass-through because we have all this front kitchen in the way here, but they packed in the important stuff. I got a, a solar disconnect, a charge controller, and then all of our controls right down here. I have an override for the awning switch, so you can pull your awning from right outside here, which is super nice. We have tire pressure monitoring prep, and a whole slew of lights in here so you can see what you're doing at night. Down the line towards the back end, huge power awning on this coach. Outdoor speakers. They've added ABS on all of their the whole Cougar lineup this year. I don't know why they haven't done it before. It's a game changer for towability and safety while you're towing. It's good to see that they're on their road armor suspension to help out with the travel as you're going down the road. Back part of the coach, I like to see a real ladder here instead of the ladder prep. You guys know how much I hate that. A true spare tire, which is still a good year endurance tire, and then a accessory hitch right underneath here. Now this one's going to be rated for 300 pounds. It's good for a bike rack, not for much else past that. So this is underneath our master bed. You get at least an extra storage space for chairs or something like that. All of our tank dumps are going to be located right here, which I'll be honest is kind of a pain spot to do it. You will have access with your slide closed. We get a door here to do so. And I can reach with the slide open. It's right next to the edge of it. But something to consider when you're looking around. On the back side of the nose of the trailer here is going to be our hookup center. We have our water docking station, an auxiliary solar prep in case you want to add more than the 200 watts up on the roof. And our tankless hot water heater. Thank goodness for that switch. Come on into the 25 FKD. So they've redone some things for 2025 that I'm excited to see here. Let's get started on this huge front kitchen that you get. So if you're in the kitchen lifestyle, prep space is the name of the game. I was a line cook before I did this and the last thing I, I wanted was nowhere to work. I got plenty of space here. I have an inlay for the sink so you get a little bit more prep space. And I got this huge area right here to be able to do my work. I have outlets that are accessible along with USB power and then more than ample storage for the kitchen here. This is where all that pass-through storage is gone is into your kitchen setup. You got dedicated trash can space right underneath the sink there and your overhead is just un unbeatable in this one. Plenty of storage throughout. They've went with a all black Fury and appliance package. So you got the 0.9 cubic foot microwave, range hood, three burner cooktop with the fancy lights, and an oven that's not big enough to write home about, but you can cook something in there. That brings us to the slide out of this one. So a couple changes for this year. First of all, they did under lighting on the dinette, makes it look sleek at night. And we do have our slide lights that are actually on a dimmer switch. The whole coach is on a dimmer switch this year. Instead of the holding the button down and messing it up every single time, it's simple, which is nice. Dinette's pretty simple. They've went with the dream dinette. So there's a lock right here. Push down to get it in bed form. Pull it back up. Lock it. You're good to go. Nice and simple. You're not fussing with it trying to put the table together and get it figured out. Underneath your dinette, you're going to have storage that goes under both of them here. It's actually on a, a glider system, so it's a lot less fussing around. Across from the TV, we're going to have our recliner theater seating. So they're rip cords. Reason being is because the electric ones, if you don't have 110 power and your recliner's out, how are you going to get your slide in? 
Keystone thought of it. You still have heat massage and all the fancy stuff, but it's just a manual rip cord now. And that's right across from our smart TV, Fury and Soundbar, electric fireplace, and their unbeatable pantry storage here which again, nice to see. We lose a little bit because of the fridge there, which we'll get to in a second, but almost walk-in pantry size. And it's the minor things I like to point out. So their locking mechanism, for example, compared to some of the other brands that I've seen, it's actually a locking door. I mentioned the fridge just a moment ago because, I mean, we've all seen the Fury in fridges now. What's different about this one is it's a dual swing fridge. So if you're outside, you want to grab a beer or something like that, you don't got to walk through the whole trailer to be able to do that. It's nice to see. They have fixed the hinges on these two, so they're not popping off like they were last year. It's actually a nice, easy, nice, easy to get into. Into the bathroom of this one, it's... This is where they redesigned it, where it used to be a side aisle bath. It's a full walkthrough bath now. So... Placement for the commode's good. You're not going to bump your knees. You got a decent amount of counter space here with plenty of medicine cabinet storage for the for the wife. And underneath, again, it all opens up for dedicated storage space here. The shower stall, 36 by 36. I'm six foot tall. I got plenty of space. It's got the door that not many people like, but it's solid at least, and it's going to actually stay closed. Oxygenic shower head so you get some decent shower pressure and I got plenty of space here. We're good to go now the The bedroom is kind of the big selling point of this trailer So I'm um, sub 30 foot. I get a walk around bed. That's on a slide out Which is very rare to see in this size segment So I got a queen size bed on a slide out both sides are actually gonna have some sort of nightstand to be able to put your phone or something like that both of them have 110 volt power and USB on both sides. So everyone's going to be able to charge their phone. If you got a CPAP machine, you got a place to put it. Huge, huge wardrobe that opens up here for clothes storage. And then I do have underneath a couple more pullout drawers for even more storage. Here's going to be your breaker box for the back here. Now, one of the options on this trailer is a second air conditioner if you wanted to add it. Up here in the Northeast, it ain't going to make a world of difference. If you're sitting in Texas watching this video, get that second air conditioner. But it's going to be a dump system right in the back bed here. Guys, that's the tour of the Cougar 25 FKD. They really shrunk down the layout, packed everything in here still. And I think it's a good flow to it. Guys, if you're part of the RV lifestyle, make sure to follow along for more. And thanks for watching.